So I have to say, with Three Creators with this week's episode, yes, it was very sad, it was very tragic, but I'm actually pretty impressed that really I couldn't ask for anything different with so far with how the final battle has been going, because usually when you get to the kind of like the end game and you see the big thing that you were building up to, a lot of times you say either A, you wanted a bit more of this aspect, or maybe you didn't see enough of like one character, but really with the past few episodes, I feel like they haven't done anything majorly wrong, like... Looking at what we've had so far, yes, the battle is still ongoing, I really wouldn't want to change anything really about this. Because really, like, we've seen enough of each character so far, there's still some battles ongoing, and we're nearing the kind of, like, ending of the series here, but I don't feel like one character has been kind of, like, pushed aside in favor of the other. It feels like everything that we've been building up to with all of these characters is coming to fruition in a very interesting way, and I love this episode, and I'm loving this endgame overall. The battles are exciting, the music is working very well to just make it even more exciting than just what the animation is already making it, and I think the stakes are as, as high as possible as we can see with two characters, well, technically three if we're including Karan there, I think that's how you pronounce his name, there's three characters that go out within this episode, and it doesn't feel like they're just trying to kill off characters for the shock moment, it feels like it's integrated interestingly enough into this final battle to make it feel like more than just trying to be a shock moment, and also showing just how powerful Altair actually is, because if we look at Alice, she literally landed her weapon directly through her body, and she's able to do this cause and effect where it basically reflects the damage onto her opponent, essentially, in theory, making her damn near indestructible. It's insane what we're going up against here, and essentially now she has no shield, no allies at this point in time that can protect her, but it doesn't seem like she needs allies to protect her when she's so damn strong, and I think it's going to come down to our main character and whatever his creation is going to do, which, if my theory is right from last week, it's going to be his dead friend, the one who created Altair there. And I think that's what's going to happen, it's going to be a creation that mimics her original creator, and that's how it's going to ultimately end, because really, in terms of just sheer force, what could you do to beat this character? And I don't think there is a whole lot, minus having her creator tell her to stop. I feel like that's the only actual way for her to basically not destroy this entire world. But one of my favorite lines in this episode is actually coming from Altair, and she's basically telling Alice, you're not the main character, you're just a side character, as she's basically dying. Which is something I never really thought of, where, if you actually think of this, these are all pretty much the main characters, or at least the main antagonists of their individual stories. They're all put into this grand new story, but really, if you look at characters like Alice, or even... Celestia and all of these characters really they're all just the side supporting cast who generally you see get killed like fodder in many of these shows but now you're kind of like looking at these side characters as someone who is a main character and it's so interesting and I love that line she gives Alice before she dies because it's actually just kind of like an eye-opening moment where you're like you're right she is just a side character even though she is a main character in her own world it's such an interesting concept there and I also really like the kind of heroic goodbye that Celestia gives while basically killing herself and taking out Charon as well to basically destroy Altair's last shield. I thought that was very emotional and it definitely pulled on my heartstrings. I could definitely feel the pain in the creators and the other characters when that was happening. Definitely a beautiful moment. I just think at the core, like, there isn't anything I really want changed. Like, I feel like Recreators is doing everything that it needs to in this final arc, and that's impressive. A lot of times you're wanting, like, more of one aspect. You're thinking maybe the animation isn't living up to par with some of the other fights, maybe the music, the score, the voice acting, but really, I think the second half of Recreators has been doing a phenomenal job with the ending content itself even more so, and I'm really interested to see how the final few episodes are going to wrap up, what's ultimately going to happen. I think the characters that have died in this show are going to stay dead, minus I think the dead friend who killed herself there but I do think ultimately their stories are going to be fine I feel like their creators are going to be able to write them back to life for their stories I don't know how it's going to truly relate because they were brought in from their stories into this world so in theory they would be dead in their stories now too but I feel like the creators are going to be able to bring them back to life in their own individual worlds however I think they're not going to be coming back home into this world because really if they do beat Altair there's no point in them coming to the human world anymore because they need to go back to their own so it's going to be interesting to see how the dead characters are going to interact when this series is all said and done 
if they get revived, if they're just going to be fine in their own individual stories, and ultimately if good is going to prevail over evil, which I definitely think it will. But time will tell. I love this episode. I thought it was really good. Really, there wasn't major issues with any real department. I feel like it was a very consistent episode from the script to the just the voice acting, to the music, to the animation, even the art sign. I even like the 3D that they were using with the mechs and things like that. This was a good episode. But let me know your thoughts. What was your favorite moment? I honestly think my favorite moment, the line that Altair gives Alice about how she's just a side character. I just love that line overall, but all the deaths, all the shock moments, they were great too. But let me know your thoughts. And before you leave, smack that like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.